Hi there, my name is Franklin Bartol and I'm a recent graduate of Yale University and University College London. Now we've all had that experience where we get home, look in the fridge, and find that the ingredients just don't seem to go together into a nice meal. Well this month, Student Health 101 asked its readers to Instagram photos of the contents of their fridge. Now my job is to take one of those photos, look at the ingredients, and try to come up with a good meal. So let's see what we have to work with. We have some fresh grapes, so we've got our fruit covered. Some milk, so we got our dairy, a good source of calcium. Some cranberry juice, so some fruit, vitamin C. Baked salad, so that's ready to go with all the vegetables we need. We have some shredded cheese, great source of protein. And lastly, we have some pre-made uh, dough for crescent rolls. So that's the kind that comes in the tube, you roll it out, put it in the oven. So there's a lot of ingredients that are ready, good to go, we have a complete meal, but how do we put this together? So when I see dough and I see cheese, I immediately think of pizza. So I'm going to roll out the dough, and it comes in these little triangles of dough, and normally you roll up the triangle of dough into a crescent roll. But instead, I'm going to lay it out flat, kind of like a slice of pizza, and I'm just going to put some of the shredded cheese on top. And now we have some cheesy bread. So very easy. And that's enough. But I really like pizza, so I have some tomatoes on hand. I'm going to add a few tomatoes. And now it's more pizza-like. And you can add other vegetables if you like, anything you enjoy having on a pizza. This is really quick. And then you can add some herbs and seasoning if you want. So I have some garlic. I'm going to sprinkle that on because we all love garlic bread especially with cheese, and a little bit of basil. You can also add some thyme, parsley, anything you like. So now that's good to go. You can just uh, make a few of those, probably two equals a meal. Uh, put them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. Look at the package instructions and maybe take them out a couple minutes before it says it it says to on the package because normally you roll up the dough into these thick crescent rolls that take longer to cook but we're keeping it flat so maybe about eight minutes if it says ten minutes it'll be lightly browned when it's ready and done and I'll show you what it looks like here we go so some lightly browned piece slices of pizza here and now, next to it, I want to serve it with this pre-made salad. Now, the pre-made salad's kind of ready to go. We've got lots of vegetables, hopefully a variety in that bag. Um, but a lot of pre-made salads, they don't have uh, fresh fruit because fruit doesn't really keep well in a bag at the store. So we're just going to add some of these grapes to it. So whenever you have fresh fruit, it's great to throw it on the baked salad. Grapes are a really good source of potassium, vitamin C, vitamin K, and antioxidants. Now these grapes are pretty tiny, so I just wash them with some water, let them dry, and they're small enough that you don't need to chop them up, but some grapes might be giant seedless grapes, those are common at the store. You might want to cut those in half because it'll be easier to eat um, with a fork in your salad if they're cut in half. So. Now our salad's uh, pretty much good to go, but we still need to use the cranberry juice. So I'm thinking a nice sweet salad dressing would go well with the grapes. So all I did for a salad dressing is I had a third of a cup of the cranberry juice, a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, and then I added a little bit of mustard seed because I had that on hand, that's optional. Add some salt and pepper, mix it up with a spoon or a fork, and you're good to go. It'll look like this. You can literally just use a cup. It took me two minutes. And then all we need to drizzle on a couple tablespoons of this. And then you can just put some plastic wrap over this, put it in the fridge, and then use this throughout the week as your salad dressing. And this is nice because there's no preservatives, there's no added sugar to this, you know what's in here, and there's lots of healthy fats from the olive oil we used. 
So I'm almost done. I still have my milk. Why not have that as a drink with your complete meal? So next time you look in the fridge and you think, geez, these ingredients just don't go together, give it a try. You might have a really nice meal after all.